Hey guys, I am in the middle of editing, but some really fun stuff just came in the mail. So I got my Luxie brushes in the mail and I'm so excited because I picked stuff up from their Black Friday sale. And these are my two, uh, these are two of my favorite um, shading brushes, 213. So for like foiled eyeshadows uh, to do metallics, um, or even apply um, satins. These are my favorite ones. The one that I have is still good. I got it originally like a set in a boxy charm, and um, these have stood the test of time. I've washed them a billion times. They are synthetic brushes. They are vegan friendly. So I really, really love these. Um, you don't want to keep them submerged in water too long because the handles will crack because uh, it is wood. The ferrules on these though are really, really good. And like I said, I've had the other one for I think two years now. So these are really um, great investments. I think they were on sale for like $5. So I really love that. This one I've never tried before, but I saw it and it was the, sorry, I've got my Oh, oh, sorry if this is crackling on you. Oh, gosh. Okay. Um, well, as you can see, this is the Pro Highlighting Brush. And these bristles are... These bristles are so soft. And the thing is, I think this is going to hold its shape really, really well. Now, I got this face set, too. Um, because mostly, I just wanted... Hold on. Okay, so I got this face trio set mostly because I just wanted... Hello, lovelies. Welcome back oh, to my channel. My, my video was done editing. Uh, this is a duo fiber powder brush, so I was really interested in that uh, to see how this would compare to, like, um, how it would compare to my other powder brush. Um, it looks... It's strange because it doesn't... It's not as dense as my other powder brush. So I'm kind of wondering like what, like why you would use a not densely powdered or why you wouldn't use a densely packed powdering brush. So if anybody knows, tell me, I don't know. Um, this is the whole reason that I got this that was the tapered highlighting brush. This is the highlighting brush I've been using. Mine's kind of lost its shape a little bit, not too much. But again, this is just such a pretty um, brush. The ferrule is really nice. And you can see, ooh, let me get it into focus there. Um, you can see that the, the ferrule goes pretty much all the way around. It's really nice. And again, these are beautiful brushes. This one is the 660, 660 Precision Foundation Brush. And I, this is like one of the softest foundation brushes. Sometimes the so, uh, foundation brushes can be just too uh, stiff. And then I also got the um, tapered blending brush. I believe this is the, hold on, the 205? Yeah, the 205. Ooh. It's kind of hard to get into focus because the, okay. I swear it says 205. It's kind of hard to get into focus because the color is like pink and gold. Um, they were super nice to send. I'm sure they sent this to everybody. Um, but it says, Lexi, thank you from Lexi. It's time to shine. We can't wait to see the looks you create with Lexi. Use code CREATE for 15% off your next order. So um, if you use that code, you can get 15% off. And then they want you to share your looks on their social media. And they want you a chance to be featured. So um, yeah, I'm definitely going to do that. I love these brushes. This is not sponsored at all. Um, wish it was though, Luxie. Holler at your girl. Um, but I really do love these brushes. They're great options for vegan friendly brushes and they really do last. I've had some issues with vegan brushes. Um, so I use just the absolute wrong, uh, hair mousse today. I look like a I look like a drowned poodle, so, and I don't have any makeup on, so I just don't want to be on camera, <laughs> but I did want to share the cool brush haul that I had with you guys today, and um, just make sure that you got your discount. Um, again, not affiliated, not sponsored. I just really do love these brushes. I will report back on, like, the Duo Fiber one, because, like I said, this is a really kind of interesting, because um, some of these bristles are a lot taller than the others. So you can see 
there. And so I'm wondering like, would this be good for highlight? Maybe this would be good for like a powder highlighter um, to pick up or maybe even like for blending a contour. I don't know, um, but that's super interesting. I would like to know that. But again, this highlighting brush, and it's funny because I feel like these brushes are a little bit thicker than the ones I got in BoxyCharm. Uh, this is the 522, um, but I do feel like these are a little bit, like, chonkier. Not in terms of the bristles. The bristles feel really nice, but, like, the actual, of the actual brush handle, I feel like there's more girth here. <laughs> Maybe that's inappropriate. I don't know. Um, but also, these blending brushes are really nice. They also have, I have the set where it's, like, the mini set that's kind of a gold sparkly color. That's so, those are some of my favorite ones, my absolute favorite brushes, because they are so good at doing, like, detail work and having, like, the little pencil brushes and stuff like that. So, yeah, um, yeah, guys, it was just, this was just a quick little, um, haul that I wanted to show you and yeah I got like three of the blending brushes because I like them that much but in any case um check out Lexi Blue <laughs> check out LexiBeauty.com uh, uh, they have brushes, they have brush sets, they also have, uh, like, cases and stuff like that as well. Um, definitely check out their social media and see if there isn't some things that you'd like to pick up. As always, 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 always make sure that you're not just buying stuff to buy it, but that you actually need it. Um, brushes can really help in makeup application. They're not going to be the end all and be all of it, but it can make it more comfortable. Like I've bought some e.l.f. brushes that honestly they work, but they're just too scratchy because I've been spoiled by these things. And so I would say, um, you know, and if you're going to invest in brushes, do it when you can find brushes on sale. I kind of also want to try out Sigma brushes, uh, Sigma and Moda brushes, because I've never tried any of those brushes before. So if you have and you have tried the Luxie ones, let me know how they compare and because I'd really like to know. All right, guys, I will. All right, guys, I will see you in the next one.